What a wild thing to wake up to. What's going on, everyone? It is Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of the Good Times Newsline Flashcast. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We've got some breaking news on the Intellivision and Atari sphere. And what is that news? It is Atari buying the Intellivision brand. That's right. You didn't hear you didn't hear that incorrectly. Atari buys the Intellivision brand. Let's get into this global, uh, the Globe Newswire article. Read this up and check this out. Come on, let's go. So, Atari acquires Intellivision brand. Purchase of Intellivision trademarks and games um, <clears throat> unites competing brands from the 70s and 80s. Um, source from Atari themselves. Atari, one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and, and entertainment Interactive Entertainment Producers announced today it has purchased the Intellivision brand and certain games from the Intellivision Entertainment LLC. Intellivision, N L -L -L Ugh. Intellivision Entertainment LLC will reband and continue its business of developing and distributing the Amico brand game console with a license from Atari to continue to distribute new versions of the Intellivision games and on uh, the Amico console. Atari will seek to expand digital and physical distribution of legacy in television games potentially create new games and explore brand and licensing opportunities as part of a long-term plan to create value from the Intellivision properties. Uniting Atari and Intellivision after 45 years <clears throat> ends the longest running console war in history, says Mike Micah, studio head at Digital Eclipse, an Atari-owned game studio, as well as a studio that has been working on um, other games that are in the Intellivision sphere. We'll get on that in a little bit. The first Intellivision home video game console was released by Mattel Electronics in 1979, and the console platform sold an estimated 5 million units through 1990. Atari and Intellivision arguably fought the first console world of consequence from the late 70s to the early 80s. Mattel went as far as enlisting actor George Plimpton to appear in a series of ads comparing the two systems, as well as an eight minute long video shown at the Gamescom trade show, which was actually, it's one of those things that was like, um, you know, in television wanted to like, really kind of like stick it to Atari because Atari didn't have enough, uh, I don't know, like graphic fidelity or something like that. It was, it was kind of wild, but, um, uh, and, and those, you know, those commercials to this day are actually kind of, kind of neat. Um, but anyway, this was a rare opportunity to unite the former competitors to bring together Atar <coughs> fans of Atari and television and the golden age of gaming said Wade Grozen, chairman and CEO of Atari. The purchase includes the rights to more than 200 titles from the Intellivision portfolio and the Intellivision trademarks. So Atari you know, officially can use the Intellivision brand and uh, like all of these different titles, apparently. Atari, be, Atari has been a valuable partner, and we have every confidence that they will be a responsible stu steward of the storied Intellivision brand, said Phil Adam, CEO of Intellivision Entertainment. We look forward to our expanded collaboration and bringing a broad array of new Atari and Intellivision titles to the Amico and Amico Home family gaming platforms so <clears throat> it looks like this deal also has like a two-way kind of thing where um phil adam and the intellivision entertainment or i guess rebranding i guess they might just rebrand to just amico um they're gonna be able to use these properties back and forth um as is was their original plan because they had some games that are were in television properties you know astro smash and uh, and shark shark and all that kind of stuff they're gonna be able to continue to use those it looks like um and um you know like they kind of finish their projects and maybe even bring some of those other games that are um you know that were being worked on by digital eclipse so we're talking um uh, night stalker and cloudy mountain um those might actually be able to to uh show up on um amico and amico home uh due to this deal but it also looks like Atari, well, since they own Digital Eclipse and now in the entire slate of games, this might actually mean that those games go elsewhere as well. So Steam, Atari VCS, maybe, um, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, all that stuff, Switch, all that kind of thing. So who, who knows? It doesn't look like the details in there because I'm actually I'm like I'm at like three different, you know, there's three more statements and it all looks like it's advertising. So we'll get onto that and then we'll talk a little bit. 
To mark the occasion, new Intellivision shirts are available starting today on Atari.com with more Intellivision apparel and collectibles to come. A press kit including the Atari Intellivision logos, the new Intellivision t-shirts can be, can be found here, and it's a link to the press kit. We might look at that in a second. To stay up to date on all things Atari and pop culture, blah, 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 go to Atari stuff, right? And then about Atari, it's the same blue, blue um, stuff that, that, that's there. Um, so that is pretty much that. So like, let me see if I can load the press kit. Um, looks like it's a Google Drive share. Um, and yeah, see, see if we can get a picture of the t-shirt designs, maybe. Um, yeah, it's just simply the, um, the Intellivision, um, t-shirt. So that seems like a, seems like a kind of cool thing with the little running man over the T. Let me see if I can, uh, get you, get you a little picture of this real quick. Let me just take a look at the, at the t-shirt. There you go. There's your, there's your, your t-shirt um action there so that's kind of cool um so that's pretty neat and of course there'll be more because well atari owns it and well if if nothing atari has been known for it of late taking everything that they can and putting it out there and doing everything they can to make sure that you guys know that hey you can buy this you can buy that they celebrate um all of the their old ip and you know what that's pretty. That's a pretty awesome thing. I think um, Atari. If anyone was going to buy uh, the in, the Intellivision IPs and then do something with them, I, I I would personally believe that it would have been Atari because of what they've been doing with all of the retro space things on the Atari side. So just think about it. There's been a whole bunch of games, like a ridiculously large amount of games that have been recharged or Beyonded or um all of these other things like you know reimagined in other ways like food fight and um and haunted house and then of course you know that the 12 games that are in the the recharge set as it is it's pretty awesome and um that that could be a thing that we will see then now with all these intellivision properties right so you got 200 titles that are coming into the mix um they can cherry pick or reimagine or do whatever that atari does with them and then now they have a stable of of uh, developers that has actually been working on all of those kind of products. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a it's a pretty crazy uh, bit of news, to be honest, um, to be hearing on a random Thursday morning. But here we are checking this all out um, together on on this day. So um, it's it's a pretty cool thing. So what does that what does this all mean? Um, what is it you know what does it all mean for the the grand thing what does it mean for um amico it doesn't i don't know actually what it means for uh amico to be honest um you know i think i think what it what it means in the in the forefront is that there's going to be a lot of probably rebranding to go on right uh, i don't think atari is going to be allowing them to just put running mans all over the place so there's going to be like new uh you know new branding options for that device um amico home it's just going to be amico home not in television amico home um that kind of thing you know i'm sure that all the splash screens are going to have to change now to re reflect the new owners of the properties and all that kind of stuff and then of course all those games that are coming out you know they, they're going to continue to come out on amico home all that kind of stuff i mean some things will change Maybe it offers them a little bit more flexibility so that people like won't think of them so much more as a retro company. And it's kind of like their idea in the beginning that they didn't want to be branded as a retro company. So who knows what happens there? So like, you know, but with the sale of this of this stuff, I mean, they get a little more of the money in. And who knows what they do with the the properties? Who knows what they do with the games? I'm here for it. I've been there for it from the beginning. I'm gonna see it all the way through to the end. I want to play these games. I want to like you know test them out. As a matter of fact, um, you know I've been actually testing a whole bunch of stuff here at Studio B um, with the uh, the Amazon devices. I'm thinking about getting myself a cube uh, so I can actually uh, do some more of the multiplayer stuff. Um, grab grab maybe even a uh, you know a guy over here and over to the over to the right grab him in and start doing some of this multiplayer action on amico home games if you want to see more of that let me know down below and of course in the comments we're probably just going to do it anyway um so you know uh me and uh me and gunzy has been actually just playing these games randomly um all along the way 
um, in almost every iteration of Amico Home because I was one of the people that was helping test all that stuff out in the background. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like it. It's pretty neat. And we probably should, you know, put some more videos out and show you guys what we think about it. Anyway, I know there's videos out there and a whole bunch of people have been reviewing things and doing all that other th stuff in the ether. But, you know, we roll a different way over here in Bacon Ice Cream Productions and everybody knows that. So we'll uh, probably be looking at that and seeing what's going on. But monumental, crazy retro news today here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, get on in there, um, celebrate, shed tears, do whatever. Just you know, don't don't do this because you know, it'll be like, pew, pew. no, don't do that because that's not that's not nice. So anyway, we have reached, of course, the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We got to do one thing and one thing only, and that is thank every single member of the Good Times Club. So let's thank them right now. Let's thank the Ever Canadian, George Games, Chris Westerman. Crimson Cross, Phantom Fiction, Skeletrex, Lloyd R. Jim, Papa Pete, the Intellivision Gamer. I wonder how he feels about that right now. Um, Ken LeCure, Mr. Shua, John Woolley, Gunsy20. He's right over there. And Immortal Sojourn. Thank you guys all so much for being members, for supporting the channel, for allowing us to do 1080p StreamYard, for allowing us to do all sorts of crazy awesome things um, and pushing us to do really awesome things moving forward. Can't wait to share more with you. Can't wait to shoot more, more videos after that little hiatus. Um, and wow, what a way to be back. So with all that being said, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Bacon ice cream dot